Hi everyone, this will be the next part in my greenhouse, uh, my new greenhouse series. Now I know it's been a bit of a break since I had uh, the last video up. Uh, various things, camera problems, I had to kind of fiddle around with it and I had people up and, and uh, regardless of the excuse, this video I'm going to go over the plastic. So as you see, excuse my shadow and the glares, it is October, so the sun is very low in the sky. The plastic is up on both end walls. We'll go down the other one in a minute. And of course the side curtains are up. The side curtains I will be going over in a separate video. So uh, check out that one if that's what you're interested in. But anyway, this plastic is quite tight on here. The ends, of course, aren't as tight. But in the middle here, you can see that. See how smooth it is? Look at that. That's like a drum. No wrinkles. Now, compare that to the greenhouse over here, you can see all the ripples. Now, mind you, that was my first attempt at building a greenhouse. Secondly, the length of it made it a challenge to make everything, pull everything so tight. And thirdly, if you remember over here, everything was on, attached to the baseboard on the bottom. So it was a lot of bending over and doing that, which is a lot harder to keep things, it, it just a lot harder to do it. <coughs> this one, when I laid out the plastic, since I have a roll up side here, the plastic came down in the attached to this sidewall curtain support. So this one here, this one here is only two feet off the ground. The one on the other side, which um, I might go over there, that's like maybe 34 inches. So it was a lot easier to pull it down and hold it with my leg, you know, hold the strapping when I put a screw in and then I could pull, you know, pull it down, put a screw in. So I wasn't bending all the way down to the ground. So it made it a lot easier to do that. But anyway, just as the other greenhouse, it has these uh, one by four, I have to call them furring strips, whatever, attached just with a two inch screw to a two by four. The two by four, uh, you know, the, the lateral here is attached um, with a lag bolt and two of uh, the nut and then a washer on each end to the, uh, the vertical supports, which go into the ground, which I did cover in a previous video. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me, the way that the top curtain's done. Same thing with the other side. Is these are level. Now, if you if you look, it's a lot shorter distance here than that. I mean, I think there's maybe three or so inches different in height between there and there to there and here, and that's just because of the way that the, the land the land slopes. On the other side, it's the same way. Although the land slopes this way, as well as this way. So on that side, the side curtain's a lot taller. But nevertheless. Um, side curtains I'll get into later, but it went up fairly easily. I had my wife help me just kind of hold the plastic so I could get it tacked in a couple spots. But, uh, you know, there's a couple little, I don't know if these are blemishes from it being bunched up when I was trying to pull it, um, or what, but if you took, you know, if you took a hair dryer to this, this would smooth right out. But again, I'm not worried about it. It's just a couple here and there. It may also just be because of how the plastic was folded. Because if you see, it's every... A little nick. Every kind of notch. But again, it, it's... I think it probably is because of how it was folded. But anyway. It was quite a thing to put up. The plastic that I put up was... The way that I ordered it is you had to order by a certain size roll or you got a custom order. Now the custom sizes were a lot more expensive because you paid by the foot width and length. But if you got it by a set width by a certain length, it was cheaper because it was already set up on the roll uh, on their machine. So when I got it, I got 32 feet wide by 60 feet long. Now the greenhouse is only 40 feet, but then you got to account for roughly 10 feet on each edge. And from the hoops themselves are 20 feet long you know from end to end but you add three feet there you add two and a half feet here that's about what 26 feet 26 27 feet so i had extra on both sides of course so i cut all that off rolled it up and i can use that again for whatever so it's a 40 feet long 50 feet long by three foot piece i can use it for whatever so <clears throat> now with having all the plastic you see there's a lot of wrinkles because it, it's it's difficult to not have this this bunching because if you think about it you have all this extra plastic on each side that has to come to the middle 
Now, thankfully, you know, I have a lot of this done with, with, with uh, chipboard, and, and because of where I have the vents, I had to kind of attach in certain areas, so you have more wrinkles than without. I mean, yes, I could probably, uh, you know, cut the plastic up in here and smooth this out and cut it, but you know what, to be honest with you, um, I'm not worried at all. It's just a little unsightly, and, and the only person that's going to be worried about that is me. <laughs> no one else that's come and saw this has, has asked, oh, why is it all wrinkly? But anyway, you can see kind of the back. This is it finished. I got some vents open here. This one here is shut. I have a little bit to do here as far as putting pieces of wood across to keep it secure, but that's not a plastic video. So anyway, I'll go to the other side, and it uh, looks kind of neat, my little corridor here. And now, you may ask, well, why didn't you butt it up close? Well, two reasons. Three reasons, really. One is because if I butted it up close, actually maybe four reasons, then if it, if we say it was only six inches or eight inches here, one is it'd be almost impossible to walk between here, to, to fasten the plastic, replace it, or even walk in general. Two, when we get snow loads, I don't want the snow piled up this high in between here because because then what will happen is it'll it'll fall, the the snow will melt because the plastic will get warm from the inside and then it'll refreeze and then it'll get hard like uh, like uh, like cement. And it'll it'll like glass and it'll just cut it, which did happen on the other side with the window that it had. The uh, the ice uh, broke one of my windows. But anyway, the next reason is because when I need to replace the plastic on this greenhouse or this one, I need to be able to get in here. And and the last reason I guess you could say is is because I have a roll up side. If this would be butted up right next to this one, and this one doesn't have a roll up side, the, the ventilation going this way would be non-existent. It wouldn't it would do nothing to have a vent here because the wind would come out and it would hit this it, it would do nothing so anyway that's why i left it like that i think it's good enough again this side if you look down at real tight this is real tight on here um i'm very happy with how this one up um again this one here is not as tight but then again this was my first attempt so overall <coughs> there's not much else to be said i think i did uh again did it mostly myself i did it quite um i'm quite happy with it uh, we had some wind through here before windstorms and it held up just fine, doesn't vibrate too much and uh, it should last me for another six years. Stay tuned for the next video which I'll be going over the side curtains. Thanks for watching.